All right, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen the finale of Arrow, do not watch this video. I will ruin the entire show for you. Oh, boy. Uh, all right, so what's up, Plakers? Uh, welcome to an Arrow finale recap. We're talking about Arrow Season 5 finale. It's called Lee and You. And I can't believe they ended it that way. Now, I'm pretty sure that the entire cast isn't dead. But I don't know. That was the biggest cliffhanger that I've ever seen on the show. That was To me, that was the best finale that the show's ever done. I loved Slade Wilson being back. All his fight scenes were awesome. I didn't really believe any of the twists of him being evil. Um, but it was still really cool. It was fun seeing him on there. <sighs> I, I am speechless after that finale. Like I, I know everyone's not dead. But part of me is a little afraid that they are, to be honest. Because they could just reboot it. They could have season six be like, oh, it's Arrow and his son, or I don't know, doing something like it. They already have announced that Wild Dog and Black Canary are going to be on the show as regulars, but they also lied in the Flash season four synopsis. So it could have all been a bunch of bullshit just to, you know, keep us going on to not to think they're not going to die in the end. So to me, this was the this was the best season of Arrow that they've ever had. I love Arrow. It's probably my favorite of the CW shows. But this was this is my favorite season of all of them. This was the best this season of all the shows and all time, I believe. I'm kind of going in a circle here, but whatever. Um, a lot of people's fra favorite is season two, which I like that a lot too because you had the build up of season one and season two of the flashbacks with Deathstroke as the villain and all that, which is pretty cool. But uh, the villain this season I really liked, and I also I loved the flashbacks this season because it ended it. Like it was really cool seeing the end this season when he he finally he defeats um, Constantine. And then runs, gets his wig on, his all his shit, his mustache, shoots the arrow, blows it up. He meets those guys that we see in the pilot episode. And then he gets in the boat and he calls his mom, which was really cool. We got to see her again. She was freaking out. At first she thought it was a prank call, which was kind of funny. And then, of course, they had to say his dad was dead because she doesn't know that. she was, Which was funny because, like, it seems like it's like a hard thing. Oh, did your dad make it? But really it's like she's afraid because it was her fault that the dad died and that Oliver almost died. So that was cool. That was I kind of saw that coming because Stephen Mill tweeted out that there's another cameo that they haven't announced, so I kind of figured it was most likely either her or Colton Haynes, and I didn't see Colton Haynes coming back. This is probably going to be a really short video because I'm still totally speechless <laughs> over that finale, even though I shouldn't be because I should be smart enough to know that they're all coming back. But I don't know. That was really good. I I, I love this season. I actually almost want to rewatch the finale right now. It was that good to me. I, love, I like Flashes. They kind of did a cool thing with him going to Speed Force and all that. But this was this was awesome. This is how you do a cliffhanger at the end of a show. I'm excited because, like, next season has to pick up right where this left off. So that'll be really interesting to see how they do that. It's still connected to the other shows and all that. I kind of like, too, that they didn't even tease who the villain is going to be next season. It'll Next season's still going to be continuing off this villain, which is kind of cool. They haven't really done that with any of these shows. Also, I want to point out that I thought it was really neat when he broke Constantine's neck. He did it in the same way that he broke the guy's neck in the pilot, which I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. Um, I thought that was a really neat little Easter egg. We also got to see Constantine's bones when him and Deathstroke were walking through the island. I think it was after they saw the prisoners. I'm not positive. You see a, um, some bones laying there, and I kind of wondered who it was. And then when he killed Constantine, you kind of see him laying in the same position. So you can kind of figure that that was him. Uh, but I think, I think that's it for this video. Uh, it's going to be real short. But like I said, I have no idea what to say. I'm retardedly speechless. Um, comment down what you thought about this finale. If you hated it, I would love to know why. Because I loved it, so I would love to see why maybe you hated it. And if you loved it, also tell me why. Because I thought this was the best season of Arrow that they've ever done. And I look forward to next season to see if they can top this. Because if they can, I'll be amazed. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Go check out our other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.